Hello everyone and welcome to Abrix Gaming and today we are going to talk about the new EA Play beta launcher. This has been released and we are going to check what this means. You know like since everyone knows the origin launcher is <coughs> not up to the mark frankly if I have to say. Origin launcher is very pretty much outdated. It's not that it doesn't look that much good and it uh, has its own faults like a lot of faults and I also consider EA and Bethesda launcher as the worst game launchers that had had that have been invented ever. So first of all as you can see there is a home page in which we can see there are some different games with nice backgrounds and there are going to be some games that are going to be like which are trending according to EA. And there are going to be various categories and it is going to show you a bunch of catalogs just like this. It does take time to load and it is going to show you a lot of catalogs like this. And when you click on all games, it is going to sh show you the list of games that they have. Yeah, so the store has been integrated into the origin and it has got a new interface as you can see you can sort it by release date you can see everything that is here like if I click on Star Wars Squadron it is going to see you can like purchase the game it is currently on sale you can buy a play pro subscription so that you can get access to this game as well and you can play this as well and it is going to show you all the things you know like all the different informations with uh, a lot of like uh, they have uh, cleaned the UI a lot and when I mean a lot like a lot you know like it looks good it looks clean okay this is the overview you can like select a plan and you can get the game as well so there is not that much if I have to say but it does have a clean interface it is going to include all the games that have a play subscription as you can see it is going to showcase like EA Play Pro, EA Play and all those kind of thing still we don't know how it is going to show the Steam games uh, EA Steam games that you owned on your Steam account like, like I owned a lot of Steam uh, games of uh, EA games on Steam and it does uh, show on my origin account as there is a small black bar in the bottom which is going to show me that it's a steam copy you have to download it from steam and then it is going to redirect into origin and then it is going to launch so yes now we are looking into my collection in this uh, like in this interface it is going to showcase all the games that you can download and you can play and it is going to show you the time that has been remaining uh, of your free trial if you have ever got uh, uh, EA Play uh, not the pro the basic subscription or EA Play subscription then it is going to allow to 10 hours of the newly released game so if you don't own the game and if you just uh, click the game to download it is going to show you the 10 hours here as you can see it has 8 hours and 38 minutes remaining and here full 10 hours remaining on both of these games these are play trials and there are some other games that you can write download it from here and the interface is very much what you can say it's good it's unique it does take a lot of time to load i don't know why the loading time is that <laughs> as i can say it does take a lot of time to load EA should have fixed that because in origin it, it does have the same problem it does take a lot of time to load now you can see burnout paradise I have uh, downloaded this game through this launcher I have installed this game and it is going to sh like I don't know why it is showing 0 hours and 0 minute although I have like spent a lot of time in this game but still it is showing 0 hours and 0 minute you can click on the play uh, button to get it started and you can see the various requirements and everything here it's a nice interface pretty much good as compared to origin because in origin it is going to show a black sidebar it is going to like pop up from the right side which is not clean which is not good in my opinion but the new interface is very pretty much sleek pretty much unique pretty much good if you are going to ask me I don't know why it is keep on updating <coughs> even though it doesn't have any update the download manager is new 
it is going to show you all the current downloads or the remaining downloads as you can see it is showing it here okay i cannot pause this i don't know why i cannot pause this but i cannot pause it here as well i can only cancel it although i cannot cancel it i don't know what the heck is happening but yeah that is the problem with ea no one knows what is happening <laughs> at least and uh, they do but still so as you can see this game or this uh, what you can say this launcher does need a lot of improvement still especially the loading time especially the optimization okay it does need to have that so if you look into my collection i am going to showcase my collection as well and on the right side you can see the messages you can see a lot of friends it is going to be a new tab if you click onto your profile you can see my profile it is going to show you case you the games that you have your profile id and all this kind of thing it is going to show at the rate this and the number of games that you own that number of games that you have purchased all those things it is going to showcase here the number of friends you have all those good things it is going to showcase here and from here i can click on any game it is going to showcase into my collection although i don't know why it keeps on updating burnout paradise i cannot cancel it or i cannot do anything with it i cannot go back maybe i can go back okay and back i don't know how this back buttons are for like forward buttons are going to play uh, take a role in the play but yeah i don't know why i keep on uh, clicking on my collection and is showing the burnout paradise <laughs> like this is the best game ever by like best arcade game ever if i have to say but as you can see and showcase the beta is not at all optimized it does need a lot of optimization and yeah it's a good thing you know like yeah you can like literally see it so there is nothing more regarding this everything is there yeah there is one more thing regarding this application it is going to showcase one good thing yes my play time <coughs> so as you can see in the left bottom side it is going to showcase a little bit of bars which is going to uh, like see how many time you have played like 0 to 1 hours it is going to be showing you weekly yeah it is going to show you weekly <laughs> there is no toggle for month or year or something like that also you can now manage the amount of money you want to spend so that is also a very good thing so you can track your spending you can track your gaming and it is going to showcase today's play time zero minutes played so yeah it's a very kind of good thing still i don't know whether i can take a screenshot or not on origin you cannot take a in game screenshot i think they have fixed that at least they should have fixed that you know like every other launcher you can at least take a screenshot not on epic I excuse me i don't know if they <laughs> if we are going to able if we are able to take a screenshot or not but uh, not on this on you play you can take a screenshot on steam you can take a screenshot okay on uh, battle.net you can take a screenshot but not on origin not on ea play not on bethesda not on epic they should uh, provide a, a mechanism by which uh, in game screenshot should be available or enabled so that players can capture the best moments they find and you can see the dlcs are going to be showcased in a pretty new interface <coughs> okay like there's a base game there is a you know dlc section that you can see and yeah i love the new interface the way they are like showcasing everything i think it's very good if you are going to ask me still it needs a little bit of polish it's very jaggery it's very what you can say very static you know like it's very web 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 uh, inspired interface they should change that you know like they should not keep it to web based they should move into something else so that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video in case if you want to join the beta the link will be down in the description thank you so much for watching